Welcome to Mambo Group 6 final presentation. Our group members are Joseph Adair, Lilia Brown, Laura Hahn, Victor Jarez, Marius Mula, and Joey Weatherford. Introduction. We chose the show The Santa Clara Diet because the show implements many different and important management concepts. The concepts our group focused on are planning and strategic manage management, managing diverse human resources, communication and negotiation, and organizational structure and design. Our target audience is our classmates and young professionals, and our goal is teaching the audience about those concepts by using everyday examples. We believe the audience will have a better understanding of these concepts after our presentation. The Santa Clara Diet is about a normal suburban family who lives in California. Joel and Sheila Hammond are a married couple who work as real estate agents. They have a high school daughter named Abby. Sheila eats bad clams and transforms into a zombie. Sheila has to consume human flesh to satisfy her hunger. Her husband, Joel, decides to help his wife kill people for food. Their daughter, Abby, and their neighbor's son, Eric, try to help Sheila by finding a cure for her zombie disease and by covering up evidence of Sheila's and Joel's killings. Characters. The characters included in our final presentation are Sheila Hammond, Joel Hammond, Abby Hammond, Eric Bemis, and Dan Palmer. Sheila Hammond is a middle-aged real estate agent and is Abby's mother. Her character can be described as successful and independent. Sheila has character characteristics of a great manager. She plans her killings herself and recruits her husband to help her. She manages Joel as a husband and as an accomplice very well. She also manages her daughter. Joel Hammond is a middle-aged real estate agent and is Abby's father. He and Sheila are married. He can be described as timid and laid back, but he is very intelligent. Joel will do anything for Sheila because he's in love with her. Joel manages his daughter when she gets in trouble at school and Eric when they go on investigations together. However, he is much more easygoing than his wife, Sheila. Abby Hammond is the teenage daughter of Joel and Sheila. She is a 16-year-old teenager with fiery red hair that matches her personality. She is very smart and clever. Abby develops a great friendship with her neighbor, Eric Bemis. Abby and Eric try to find a cure for Sheila. Abby manages their different investigations and miss missions and has many traits of a good manager. However, she makes irrational decisions and often needs Eric to help her get out of trouble. Eric Bemis is the Hammond's neighbor. He goes to high school with Abby and they are very good friends. Eric has a crush on Abby and is also very shy around her. He also does whatever Abby asks him to do and this makes him a good recruit for an employee. Eric is very smart and can make anything. He helps create the medicine to cure Sheila's zombie disease. Dan Palmer is the Hammond's neighbor. Dan is a middle-aged man who works for the Los Angeles Police Department. He is also Eric's stepdad. Dan is a very nosy neighbor. He always wants to know what Sheila and Joel are up to. He becomes suspicious of their behavior and starts investigating some of Sheila's late night activities. Episode summaries. The episodes we created for the Santa Clara Diet implement the management concepts, planning and strategic management, managing diverse human resources, communication and negotiation, and organizational structure and design. Episode one focuses on organizational structure and design. This is the introduction to the characters and the real estate office where Sheila and Joel work together. Sheila and Joel are showing a house to potential buyers when all of a sudden Sheila's stomach becomes upset. She has to hide in the bathroom where she throws up everywhere. Joel finds Sheila passed out on the floor. They use the management concept, organizational structure and design by having another real estate employee finish the showing, showing the house to the potential buyer because Sheila is so sick. They use line of authority here and differentiation to have other employees who report to Sheila finish their work. Episode two focuses on communication and negotiation. In episode two, Joel Joel takes Sheila to the neighbor's kids, Eric, to find out what is wrong with his wife. Eric is a smart kid who knows sci-fi information. Eric informs Joel and Sheila that Sheila is now a undead zombie. This episode contains the management concept, communication and negotiation. Eric uses verbal communication and nonverbal communication skills to inform Sheila of her new undead zombie disease. Dan, Eric's stepdad, gets suspicious about why Sheila and Joel are at his house. After Joel failed at lying, Dan starts watching the Hammonds more closely. Episode three focuses on planning and strategic management. In episode three, Sheila becomes extremely hungry. It becomes evident she needs to eat, eat human flesh to survive. Joel decides to help Sheila kill for food because of his love for her. 
This episode uses the management concept, planning and strategic management. This concept has to do about has to do about planning for your business. Joel and Sheila must plan how to kill harmful members of society for Sheila to eat and how they won't get caught. They begin planning together as a team for how they will kill their first victim. They use internal resources like their daughter, Abby, to help cover up evidence of their kills and external resources like Eric for information about the zombie disease. They use implementation when they go out and successfully kill their prey. Episode four focuses on managing diverse human resources and episode five focuses on focuses more on communication and negotiation. Conclusion. This project has been very beneficial. It, is, it was an innovative way to expose students and management concepts. This course helped the students become prepared for future management positions and helped them to improve their knowledge about management. We had to learn how to communicate and direct as a team. This is an essential skill in management and in the workforce. We executed this project by working together as a team. While it was difficult with everyone's schedules, we were able to include everyone in the decision-making process that led us to our goals. The course taught us management is not a simple task as we thought. There is a lot that goes into being a good manager. Marius Mula. As a group, I believe that when we put our minds together, we can accomplish so much within a single day of working. However, that's not to say we should leave everything to the last minute and then do the work assigned then. Most of the group has done their part in contributing to the project by showing up when we meet, responding to group texts and emails, and giving feedback to the ideas that are presented. As an individual, I believe that I can do more to contribute to the project by making sure my part of the project is turned in before the deadline and ask my group if my ideas are useful in our project. Laura Hahn, I think the course has been interesting. It is unlike any business class I have taken at, at this university. I definitely made, it definitely made me work with concepts in a way that goes beyond just reading and studying. I learned to be more assertive when working with a group and not to be afraid to tell my group members what I expect from them. I think this will really help me in the corporate world when I have to work with others and manage them. I have already used the management concepts I learned in this class at my work. Joseph Adair, this course has been a very big roller coaster. There has been its ups and downs through this whole experience. We as a team have really proven that once we get together and put our minds on one topic, we can accomplish our goals. I have learned to speak up when group members are not working together and are not pulling their own weight. I have also learned that I need to be more patient with people because of everyone, because everyone is on a different schedule and can't have everything done right away. Joey Weatherford. I think this course, I like this course for the reason that it shows me the difference in management styles and how teams should work together. This course can be a real challenge since it is online and requires a lot of time and working with other everyone's crazy schedules. I did learn that I need to be more vocal about topics on discussion and on topics on these assignments. I appreciate everybody in my group that worked hard and hard to work together on this project. Victor Juarez, I love how the course got us all out of our in independent element and made us interdependent, where accomplishments would only be achieved with a we mentality instead of a me perspective. Time allocation is our biggest challenge, but manage to overcome it with trust and notion that we are here for each other. Having this kind of environment makes it rudimentary for everyone to be open and to be our better selves for the good of the group. Lilia Brown. The project has helped me to understand what it takes to be successful as a team. Instead of working on your own, I believe it is important to assign tasks to each student based on the student's skills. In the end, all team members work towards achieving the same goal. Furthermore, I learned throughout this course that communication is the key to success. It is important to stay in touch with other team members and work closely together. The hard part of the project was the time 
For example, each student has a different schedule. Some students work full time, others take online classes, and the rest is maybe busy with family during the summertime. Therefore, using tools such as Google Doc, Group Chat, or Skype helped us to stay organized at all times. Recommendations. Our group would recommend for future students in this course to be prepared to work hard. This course should not be overly difficult as long as you and your group are willing to put in the work that is necessary. Once your group is formed, reach out right away. It is important to get to know each other and each other's schedules. Start planning your project right away. It is crucial to delegate the workload. This way, not just one person is left with all the work. Google Docs is a great tool to help everyone stay organized and to chat amongst each other while working. Google Docs makes it possible to not, not always have to meet up with your group members. However, it can be very beneficial to meet in person. Meeting face-to-face -face is a great way to make sure everyone is on the same page. Lastly, have fun. This project is meant to expose you to management concepts in a unique way, but it is also supposed to be a fun experience.